G'day mates, Home Slice here, and welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. I think we're up to part 5 now. Um, there's still like water everywhere and all this organic stuff here, so even though we've come through like a loading screen door, I have a feeling that this monster is still going to be chasing us. Um, and my lantern oil is really bloody low, and I don't have any spare. I've only got three tinder boxes as well. Um, but let's just get straight back onto the move anyway. I really want to get out of this damn place already. So let's open up. And... Oh, yep, I knew it. I knew it. I bloody know it. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Oh, God. Don't f don't get frame drops right now. Open the fucking door. Holy shit. Go, go, go. Just keep running. I'm not going to stop. Not going to stop. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. I, I hope we're going the right way here. I hope we're going the right bloody way. I'm not going to let it catch up at all. Just keep running. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Holy fuck. Oh, we're good, we're good, we've got, we've got a door. Oh, back hall. Oh my god. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The lacquered hull of SS Hortensia glittered in the soothing, warm yellow light of a setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean, reaching towards the coast of Portugal, and I didn't read it fast enough, so I didn't get to see what that said. Damn it. Oh, God, I'm so glad to be out of there. I wonder if I go back in, if it'll, like, let me. I'm not going to, because I don't want to get eaten or attacked by... Oh, hey, it's like the Prussian Eagle from way back. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to get eaten or attacked or whatever might happen. Oh, is this the thing off the loading screen? Oh. God, I get... Like, little frame skips here and there, and, like, when the camera, like, jolts like that. But what is this? Oh, legs. Oh, it's just part of the fountain. Oh. This... Wait, yeah, these sun things up here. On, um, some of the loading screens, there is, like, this sort of imagery. And this is, like, actually a spine. It has wings, that's sort of weird, but... Yeah, and there's another frame skip. I do get them here and there, and that is annoying, but I don't think there's really much I can do about it. Alright, so we got a few more doors here. Now, we were dragged towards that one, so I guess we'll need to go over there first. But I want to check these other places just in case. Oh, jackpot! That's a bunch of stuff. Get that lant oil in there. What about the other side? Come on, there's got to be something, right? Another chest? Nah, damn. Oh, well. <laughs> Didn't think that'd do anything. Whatever. Let's keep going. So we've got this door, and then we've got to check upstairs as well. Oh, that one does actually open. Where does this go? Storage. Well, there might be something useful in storage, so I will check there. Eventually, of course, but we've got these ones up here as well. Guest room. And study. Uh, I think I'll check the storage first, unless it's locked. I'll, I'll just go from, like, right to, the, to left. Just in that sort of order. Alright. Unless, like, these doors are locked, of course. Alright, it's not locked. Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken by a thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left, considering all the hands it had passed. I wonder what was in that chest, or trunk, or... Yeah, his trunk was wrapped in rope. But why rope? Why not just have, like, a few locks on it or something, but... God, I don't like this already. I like the open, well-lit area we were just in, but seems I am straight back out into the dark. What is our object? No mementos. Oh, shit. 
Oh, I don't like this already. I want to go back. Yeah, screw this. Screw this. Let's go back. He climbed out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock and waited some more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. I think... This place out here... Um... How our camera was, like, forced onto it. I think maybe we'll get an objective from here. I hope so. Um... Let's have a look. Oh. You have an ascending room. Would it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Huh. Well, that's cool, yeah, because this game is in, like, the mid-1800s, I think it was. I don't know when elevators were invent uh, but I don't think there would be many back in these days, at the very least. So do we have to take the elevator? Or what's our... still no mementos. It's not working. Oh, I'm glad I pulled on it then. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Yeah, it's not electric. I guess it's like it works with gears or some sort of fuel system, maybe. Alright, that's locked as well. Find the key. Oh, shit. Well, instead of going to storage first, I'm gonna go up to these ones first. Unless they're locked, of course. So this is the study. Alright, and we can enter. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple and pondered on the strange happenings. Does he mean... I wonder if it's talking about Daniel. And does it mean... Um, that blue orb that we had in the flashback? Or the orb he put back together? Don't know, but... Well, at least this place has more lighting to it. That What's that sound? I don't know if that'll get picked up or not, but there's like sort of a buzzing sound. I don't know what that is. But damn, this is a big study room. Jesus. Ooh. Pick up that. So this... I, I guess this could have been like a little sort of lab. Oh, I think that was... I don't know if that was a dog or and if it was in the game or out in the real world. But I definitely heard a dog or something like it. All right, well, there wasn't really much in here. Waste of a t tinderbox. I thought we'd have a bit more here, but no. Yeah, that's not even a note we can pick up, but... Yes, let's just go door to door, I suppose. How's our... Ah, oh, we're crystal clear for once. Get my lantern out for a sec. Light that up and put it back down. God, there's like ghosts or something. Okay, we've got light here. Oh, a note. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan, or Johan Weyer, or Weyer, I don't really know how to pronounce that. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color 
washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying at a nearby village called Alstad, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in the beast this guardian of the orb was relentless in its pursuit i made my way to a nearby ravine where i stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake i tried to warn them as i passed but fortunately they remained as i continued my escape when i heard their cry of pain echo through the valley i felt such a tremendous sense of relief thinking i would be spared suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. Oh, that's sort of like what happened to us. Water surrounded us. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I felt the ground grasp, uh, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still... Until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able, able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Alstad. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. I've, I remember that name. He w was one of the guys or one of the people mentioned in one of the other notes we picked up. But, oh God, I really don't feel good about this. This is really spooking me out, but we're clear. We're all good. We don't have any health potions, but we've got half our lantern oil. Let's just keep going, I suppose. I wish there was like a slow walking option that wasn't crouch. This is a massive study room. What is this? When it said study... Alright, those dogs are definitely in game. And what the fuck is this now? Hammers and... Yeah. Anatomy pictures... Understanding locomotion, chambers of the human skull, like saw blades, and what is this, like a taxidermy? What the fuck? Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. What? What is there? God, he cut its head off and like this part here and like stitched it back together or something. And the bird and like another dog head. What the fuck? Is what was this guy's goal? Why did he do all this? Animal experiment. Canis Lupus Familiarius, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic gene 
Genesis. Every, the brain controls everything. Like, it, you know, if there's one thing that science will never fully understand, it's the human brain, I think, anyway. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Well, yeah, that sort of makes sense, I guess. But what else do we have in here? Some books. More fucking dog pictures. A mannequin. Guy on the wall. Another note there. Who's that guy? More lantern. Oh! oh you motherfucker. Why'd you do that to me? Asshole. <sighs> fucking cunt. Not even anything in there, just some skulls and bones. What's the note say? Anatomy Frontiers, 1658, January the 9th. Further disappointment, the antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they re would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Well, clearly that didn't end up working out because we've read notes of like people being instructed to kidnap people and shit like that. So clearly he wasn't happy with whatever progress it was that he was making. God, I'm like terrified of even walking out of a damn doorway. What else do we have? Oh, we got nothing here. Just it's all blocked off. Yeah, memento. All right, let's run back before we lose sanity. Ah, oh, of course, I lost some. Find another way around the rubble. Oh. The fuck was that? Wait, what, what's this lantern oil? The crack windows. Oh. Shit, I didn't actually expect that to work. Oh, wait, we can, like, walk away around. I thought we'd just be able to grab the tinderbox and that would be it. Well, we can't get over there, but I guess we've got to jump. Like, oh, all right. Well, I'd much rather be, oh shit. What is happening in the trees? This whole place is fucked. It's just hell on earth. Like I got more of that organic shit there as well. But, yeah, I'd much rather be doing this than getting chased by whatever that fucking water monster was. Probably don't have anything. Oh, it's like the same. Alright, was just making sure. Oh, there's another orb! Or whatever they are. Probably nothing under there. Can't lift it anyway, but... Yeah, we got another one of these. And a cog. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Which gate? God, I don't know what all this means. Get this chair out of the way in case I need to run through oh oh there's no oil left let's get that what's this flow cycle rod elevator machine instructions if the elevator breaks down again make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber the meters should read up eight and down Eight. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity 
steam set functions, four phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Okay. What do we got over here? Nothing. Oh, let's put the lantern down. God, what else? Oh, this is just the rubble. Oh, nice. Nothing there. Nothing else there. Don't want to lose any more sanity. Okay, let's go back. God, what a s massive room, though. Or, like, set of rooms. This is, like, the study. And it's, like, so many rooms. Oh, more trees being spooky. We're good, though. We're good. Don't worry about that. We're just gonna jump across. Keep jumping across. Don't lose sanity. Alright, there's nothing here as well. Alright. Oh, well, that's enough um, lantern oil, actually. Let's go back out into this hall here. Uh, I think this is called, like, the back hall. Oh, I'm just gonna run. Fuck this. Back hall. Alright, thank goodness. That's one room down. He tried to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shifted when you weren't looking. I think I've read that uh, loading screen before, but holy shit, what a ride that was. That was um, pretty interesting. We found out some more information on like the castle and some of the people, some of the stories, some of the lore, and about the monster like chasing you forever or something. We're probably one of the people getting chased. That's why all this shit keeps following us. But I'm going to end this one here. And we will check these other rooms. Uh, I think that's the guest room. That's the storage. And then we'll make our way to... We'll, we'll eventually get to the elevator. I don't know if we'll make it to the elevator in the next one. But we'll at least clear one or both of these rooms. Uh, but yeah, I'll end this one here. And we'll continue exploring in the next one. Peace in the Middle East. And may all your games be good ones.